What's up, y'all? Back again, constant negative news. And today, you know, on this news channel right here, we don't report nothing positive. Everything here is just negative. And today, uh, what's going on? Uh, my homeboy, Andrew Tate, just got canceled off of Facebook and got canceled off my Instagram. If you're not familiar who Andrew Tate is, let me throw you some pictures in right quick so you can see who the brother is. That is him right there down at the bottom. Some people say he's misogynistic, toxic. I look at him as a grown-ass man. Not because he's bigger than me and richer than me. No, it's just because the shit he say. It's like Kevin Samuels times a thousand. And think about it, Kevin Samuels was already a thousand, so multiply that by a thousand. Okay, let me read up on him a little bit. Um, Andrew Tate, born December 14th, 1986, is... <laughs> Is an American British and former professional kickboxer. Following his kickboxing career, Tate began offering paid courses and memberships through his website and later through a fame following a movie to influ influencer, influencer marketing. I said it wrong. Influencer marketing. Okay, okay. Tate has been subject to controversy due to his alleged misogynistic statements on his topics, such as sexual assaults that resulted in bans from Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Damn, he didn't beat Donald Trump. That didn't kick him off of every fucking platform. But think about it. He got enough money. He can start his own platform. Something to think about, though. Okay. Kickboxing champ. So, dude, dude, been around doing some mixed martial arts. Full contact cruise weight championship. Was ranked number one in his division. Through he had won 17 of his 19 fights. He said it was his first belt and title. Okay, so dude, dude. <clears throat> okay. Anywho. So let's, let's get a little more into this. So here we go. Let's go. Let's get into it. <coughs> Andrew Tate has been banned from Facebook and Instagram. Meta has banned the controversial media personality from their sites for violating its policies. Ain't these freedom of speech? Okay. This cancel culture shit is going too fucking far. The former kickboxer found fame in 2016 when he was booted out of Big Brother after a video surfaced of him appearing to attack a woman. He has since garnered his loss of attention online for his sweeping statements on women and relationships, which many has doubled as misogynistic and toxic. See, here we are living in with this cancer culture and all that. A woman that can just go off their emotions and they write. A man can make a logical statement, say, hey, I'm rich. I had to work hard to get all this money. I'm single. I'm married minded. Ugh. And here's the girl. So you say, no, I don't want the girl with three baby daddies. No, I don't. I want to start my own family. I want to be in my kid's life. Yeah, toxic. You're misogynistic. What the fuck? So the guy tell the truth, you know. But, you know. And the reason why this goes on because... Most of the spenders are women. So they feel like, you want to keep women spending money? Keep lying to them. And I'm looking at some of the comments on this statement. And uh, one of them came up was, um, I wish they had the same energy with women spreading their narcissistic hate towards men. And it's been going on for decades. Oh, niggas ain't shit. Oh. You don't got enough money. Oh, you ain't tall enough. Oh. All this shit. 
A guy, man, for the standards, I'm gonna start giving these motherfucking girls some motherfucking ink pen. That's what I'm doing. That's what I got for you bitches. I got a motherfucking ink pen. Draw the nigga you want, because this motherfucker don't exist. Let's bear with it. So, this has been breaking news. Castle Town. Peace.